Hey people, it's Danny from Conscious Catasthenics here. So a question I get asked time and time again from people on a regular basis is, do I work out every single day? And should they work out every single day? And what I have to say is no, you should not work out every day. And I do not whatsoever. I'm gonna to explain to you in this video in full detail as to why I do not recommend it to you or why I do not do it at all. And what I wanna first say is when I first started my calisthenics journey over a year ago, where I managed to actually gain around 10 kilos of muscle within a year. If you haven't seen my one year calisthenics transformation video, I put a link for it up above. I highly recommend you go and check that out. Is that when I first started that journey, I wasn't as knowledgeable and as experienced as I possibly could to optimize my workouts and to do everything that I possibly could do to maximize muscle growth and strength within the shortest period of time. So early on in my journey, I made a lot of mistakes. And one of them that I made was training every single day. Because as a society, most people think more is better. And a lot of time, more isn't better. It's about quality over quantity. So that is just something for you to contemplate and be mindful around and when I was training every single day when I look back at it I was not training hard enough and I mean training to the point where it is so intense for you to get through the whole workout mentally and physically so if you are someone that is training every single day you're more than likely not training hard enough so what I would recommend to people is not training every single day and training once every other day, which is what I do. You don't necessarily have to do this if you don't want to, but if you want to learn from someone that has actually put something to use consistently and got good results from it, then maybe you should try out what they're doing. There is some people that like to train five days a week, but for me personally, I find that if I was training for consecutive days in a row, I could train very hard on the first day, but then the following days, my strength and stamina, endurance and energy levels would start to decline. So then it would affect my following workouts in a negative way, so I wouldn't get the best workouts that I possibly could get because I wouldn't be able to go as full out. And this is a mistake a lot of people make. They just train and train and train and train and train. They're not resting and recovering enough. And then a lot of time it can burn out people's nervous system, have a negative effect on their immune system, lower their energy levels, mess up hormone production. And then this will have a serious negative effect on giving you the greatest benefits for helping you go in the direction of achieving the body desire, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. And I discovered this all through my own personal experience and trial and elimination. And then after quite a while, I started training once every other day. And then I listened to Dorian Yates, which in my opinion was one of the best professional bodybuilders that has ever existed. I absolutely love him. And when I actually listened to him in an interview on London Real quite some time ago, and some other different sources, he said that he trained once every other day. Because he said in his videos, there's no way that he could train every single day to the intensity that he was and get the most out of his workout. So yeah, it confirmed to me from my own experience and trying it out and seeing that it was working for me that it was a really good thing. And then I learned from Dorian Yates and that just confirmed it for me again, that what I was doing was a really good idea. And I can tell you now, I train people in the gym on a weekly basis and anyone that I train, they will tell you that the way that I train them is so, so intense and they need that day off the next day to recover. So then the day after that rest day, they can come back and then train full out to the highest intensity possible to give them the benefits that they're looking to gain from the way that they're training. So how can you tell if you're training hard enough? Well, what is a good way to tell if you're training hard enough? 
from the first exercise, it should be very challenging and hard for you to push through physically and mentally, and your muscles should be burning quite a lot that you are training specifically with that exercise that you're first doing in your whole workout. And after the first workout, you should be breathing very, very heavily while you're resting to go on to the next exercise. And within a short while, you should start sweating quite a bit. And as the workout goes on longer and longer, it should get way more intense for you and harder to push through mentally and physically. And at the end of the workout, you should need to sit down for a while just to catch your breath and make your heart rate go down and just start to calm down the nervous system, calm down the body and just be able to compose yourself so you can actually start to get on with the rest of your day. And if you're someone that wants to get an idea of how I personally train and to what intensity, I will put a link up above for a playlist of workout videos of the workouts that I have done in the past so it can give you a good idea of how much you need to possibly push yourself. And obviously it's gonna vary from person to person, depending on how long you've been training for someone that's a beginner, you are gonna still push yourself really hard, but give yourself easier exercises and workouts to do. But always make sure that every exercise is very challenging for you. And as you get further into your journey, you can start doing harder exercises that are way more challenging overall. And a great example, if you're new to calisthenics, what you could be doing is dips with the resistance bands, it's assisted dips. And as time goes on, you need to change yourself more. You then can do it without a resistance band. And as that gets easier, then you can start doing weighted dips. So as you can see, all of those are going to be challenging for you and the level that you are currently at. And one last obvious sign that you've trained hard enough is the next day. I find normally for me in the middle of the next following day after the day that I'd trained, that the muscles that I've trained, when I touch them or move them, they are hurting a lot. And that is a sign for sure that I have trained hard enough or that anyone else that feels those signs and symptoms after training to show that they have trained hard enough. So if you're not getting all of these different signs that I've mentioned to see if you're training hard enough, then you need to modify your workout in a way that is challenging you and pushing yourself to your limits physically and mentally so you can get the greatest gains possible short term and long term. And so many people make so many mistakes this on a regular basis. A lot of people see in the gym, they're hardly breaking a sweat, they're hardly breathing at all, they may be on their phone and it just looks like it's a pleasure for them to be training. And you can just see them time and time again being in the gym for long periods of time. You can see they're not really getting any significant gains whatsoever. And then there's also a lot of people that just go in the gym and they train really, really hard, really fast with hardly any rest intervals, such as people that are into CrossFit. They can't sustain it long term because they burn themselves out. And then they have this yo-yo effect where they're training quite a lot. They get some good muscle growth benefits and some weight loss benefits if that's what they're trying to achieve. And then they burn and crash. They have to rest for quite a long time and not train whatsoever. So they start to lose all of those gains that they've got. And it's just up and down, up and down. And it's just not sustainable at all. And I used to be someone that used to be like that, not with calisthenics, but when I used to be a runner and a cyclist. And it's just a recipe for disaster. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I love answering your questions. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about what I shared with you today in this video as to why you should not be training every single day and what I do not as well. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more informational videos from me on a regular basis. And the type of informational videos you can expect to get from me are calisthenics, informational videos, weight loss videos, general fitness videos, intermittent fasting videos, one meal a day, and what I eat and do in a day videos and all different types of videos to share with you so much of the right information that you can put into place to achieve the body desired the fitness levels and the energy levels as well and i also hope that my videos will inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to achieving the body 
that you desire. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those games. Peace.